Are we going higher or are we going lower on the stock market? I'm not going to tell you which one it's going to be because I quite frankly, nominally, do not know which direction it is. However, if you adjust it for inflation, maybe we might go higher in the next six to eight months. But after that, I expect to take out much more new lows when we adjust these numbers for inflation. Because the next big thing is the dollar losing its value, all of this phantom money that has been put into the system. And that's a big reason why we're starting to see stocks going higher. Right now on the S&P and the Dow, we are seeing the uh, stock market have a big range that it's been into for close to a year now. And when we're in a range like this, meaning you, your tops and your bottoms are pretty close to the same area, on the Dow Jones, it's roughly between 7,000 and uh, 9,800. So it's a very, t uh, n not a tight range, but a very uh, extended range usually big moves happen to one side or the other so you break it to the upside it goes higher break it to the downside it can go lower so if it breaks it to the upside that could potentially mean us seeing dow 11 and maybe even 12,000 again and a lot of people a lot of their 401k plans well their go their money will be back whether if say at 2007 say one person was up 20 percent on their portfolio when the market topped and then in March, when the market bottomed, maybe they were down 30%. And uh, if the market goes up higher, there'll be people who will be back in the uh, green, meaning above money, and of course, uh, back to break even. A lot of people are going to be selling, and a reason why a lot will be selling is, even though a lot of people are still not aware of the situation of the fiat money, more and more people are. And when more people get aware of this kind of stuff, they're gonna get out of the United States dollar. So having the market going up just increases the chance of people pulling money out of banks because a lot of the psychology is if you're down money, you wanna wait until you at least break even or come pretty darn close to breaking even. And if some people have already been in that mode, well, they'll be pretty close to breaking even or breaking even again. So a lot more will be taking money out. And uh, before when the market crashed, money was put into bonds. Well, it's also been stated that bonds and the dollar should be going down very much so. You look at the charts for both of them, they are going to go down a lot more. Now, generally speaking, when the dollar and bonds goes lower, the dollar goes higher. And when money is taken out of bonds, a lot of times it is put into stocks. Well, if we have a dollar run, that could mean money taken out of bonds and not put into anything else. And uh, so that's why I'm saying if we have the market going higher, it's going to create a, the dollar collapse even sooner than it would happen. Because if the market crashes or we at least test the March lows, this might uh, delay the dollar collapse a little while. So if we test that 65 Dow, 7,000, maybe 6,000 level, then the most likely scenario is... The bond market and the dollar may rage, meaning it doesn't do too much. Maybe it'll have a small gain, but really not take out some big explosive numbers. And we might see a little bit of deflation where the stocks going higher shouldn't make inflation be the uh, general key. Most of the big money in stocks is that of financial organizations and the big money. So if they decide that they uh, wanna sell, and a lot of them are profiting from the recent rally, then that'll bring stocks to go much lower. Deflation might, and it's just gonna be a short period of deflation nonetheless, because it's a matter of when the dollar goes through its collapsing period. And if we have a stock market fall, maybe two, three, four months, maybe six months later, the dollar will go through its fall. But right now, my odds are in favor that uh, we will see higher stock prices, whether we test the March lows first, Time will only tell. Thank you for watching and have yourself a magnificent day, everyone.